India has spent years making its mark in the global space race and exploring what else is out there in the galaxy. In just 2019, ISRO launched Chandrayaan 2 to study lunar geology and the distribution of lunar water. But I'd like to take you back to a very fascinating story about India's first rocket launch involving a bicycle and church. The 1960s was a time when most countries, including the USA and the USSR, were gearing up for the space race. It was then that physicist and astronomer Dr. Vikram Sarabhai had found a small fishing village called Thumba in Trivandrum. He decided that it was the perfect spot to launch India's first rocket. But there was a slight hitch because there was already something on that spot. St. Mary Magdalene Church. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can't a rocket just be launched from anywhere? Why that spot? Sarabhai believed that St. Mary Magdalene Church was located on the Earth's magnetic equator. For those who, like me, don't really understand the importance of the Earth's magnetic equator, it's basically an imaginary line passing around the Earth near the equator on which the magnetic needle moves from north to south. Sarabhai and his colleagues visited the then Bishop of Trivandrum, Reverend Dr. Peter Bernard Pereira with the hopes of acquiring the church. In an odd end to their discussion, Reverend Pereira didn't really give them a definite answer but instead asked them to attend Sunday Mass. What happened next was truly remarkable. The Reverend addressed the entire issue during his sermon at Mass, recounts Dr. APJ Kalam, who was one of the scientists along with Sarabhai. He said, My children, I have a famous scientist with me who wants our church and the place I live for the work of space science and research. Science seeks truth that enriches human life. Children, can we give them God's abode for a scientific mission? As you can imagine, the scientist was stunned and there was silence for a while. I mean, this is not something that one would expect on what was most likely their first time attending mass. Kalam captured the feeling well when he wrote, there was a silence for a while followed by a hearty amen from the congregation, which made the whole church reverberate. In fact, the whole town seemed to be behind this effort. And soon enough, papers were signed, villagers moved to neighboring villages, and even formed a new church to continue their masses. And finally, right outside St. Mary Magdalene's church, India's first rocket launcher was built. The church, which was once a small thatch roof building, which was built by St. Francis Xavier, was now Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station. In his book, Kalam filled in some of the blanks of how the space was used. The prayer room became the first laboratory. The bishop's room, his drawing office. The cattle shed was converted into a lab for all the scientists. The main church building was maintained and eventually converted into a space museum. Now, the parts required for the NASA-made rocket Nike Apache was so small that they were literally carried on a bicycle and a bullock cart. Finally, on November 21st, 1963, India's first rocket was launched into space. Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station eventually became Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. While you can't take a walk in and see altars and statues of the Christian faith anymore, you can still visit the once tiny church and witness rockets, satellites, and the first in a humbling journey that led to this wonderful moment. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The kinds of videos we want to make are to ask fun and compelling questions, explore weird and intriguing stories and delve into secret histories. So if that's something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to tell us what you like in the comments.